Hello, my name is Rebecca. I wanted to create architecture experimenting on using advanced technology. The potential of technology is that it allows us to create elegant fluid forms. It had taken over a period of five months to perfect the script to create this structure. It is architecture as it defines a space. It informs and affects the way people move within this space. I'm pleased to see that people do stop and appreciate the form for what it is during the day. Uh, some people do recognize that it is site specific as it resonates surrounding elements. The Mobius geometry had always fascinated me and the challenge of being able to capture it in a complex form is the biggest attraction for me. Merging this architectural style with the potentials of media facades is in itself experimental in nature. Each piece in this free form is unique in shape and size. For us to be able to put it together and build it together, we've had to make sure each piece is numbered in a systematic way. Hi, my name is Dr. Onoklov. I'm a lecturer in media arts at the University of Sydney. And I'll never forget the day that Rebecca asked me to collaborate on her amazing Euphonius Mobius. What really fascinated me was the fact that normal media walls are made with, um, the screens are made with 2D matrixes. However, what's so unique and incredible about this work is it's made up of a 3D matrix, which means that the programming is highly complex as well as the interaction design. We installed sensors to detect movement of users to engage them in the interaction. Working with the visual image design on this project has been such a, an incredible experience because I've got to work with a large team of architects, artists, building designers, engineers, sound designers and media artists. I'm Michael Bates and I'm a musician and sound designer. It's been fantastic actually working on this piece with, with Rebecca and Anaklov. When I was asked to get involved in the project I got very excited because um, I mean the opportunity to actually work in, in such an iconic uh, environment uh, was too good an opportunity to miss. And what really occurred to me was the relationship between the, the site, the installation and the environment around us, the, the Opera House, the vicinity to the to the Harbour Bridge, and um, and the harbour, um, the iconic harbour as well. One of the things that occurred to me was to come down here, and I spent many nights actually down here, uh, around the entire uh, precinct, recording the sounds of the water, the sounds of the Harbour Bridge. Then it, then the idea sort of came to me that perhaps we could structure the whole thing by making the piece. It sort of became a larger work than than really I, I ever intended because the reality is when people come to an installation, they really look at the installation only for a few minutes at the most and then move on, uh, have their photo taken and, and that's it. But um, the interesting thing for me was that uh, if we could make the piece so it actually cycled over an hour so that the, the bells would toll on the hour and we would use the, the sort of tolling bells in the piece as well to speak back to the, to the bells in the environment and start to talk to the environment. Mm -hmm. 